So yes, for all intents and purposes, Kefka has essentially destroyed the world. We have left what's known as the World of Balance, and we've now entered the World of Ruin. And all because of a power-hungry Jester, Jester and his Emperor. God, how many key people were killed dur during that attack? Well, here's Celis. Oh, and it's Banana Sid. Guess he's been taking care of her. Hey, all right. She's alive. That's a start, I guess. Hey there, Sid. Finally awake. Wow. She was in a coma for a whole year? I'm surprised she's still alive. Well, thanks for looking out for us, Sid. Where's everyone else? We're on a tiny deserted island. After the world crumbled, I awoke to find us here together with a few strangers. It was no dream. It was a nightmare come true. Where are my friends? Where's Locke? I don't know. I only know we're here. Maybe we're the only people left alive. Since that day, the world's continued its slide into ruin. Animals and plants are dying. The few others who washed up here with us passed away of boredom and despair. Now, you don't know that for sure, Celis. They're all strong people. You're the closest thing to family that I have. We could just live out our lives here peacefully. You want him to be your granddad? <laughs> all of a sudden, I have a grandfather. Uh, a granddaughter. I haven't eaten in three days. Oh, hold on a moment. That was weird. My screen just flashed there, so I couldn't see anything. You probably didn't see it there in the recording, but I certainly saw it on my TV. Well, unless I ask for fish, I won't get anything. That's all there is here. Alright, now this part's kind of stupid, but I'll, I think I'll try to do it anyway. Now, basically, as soon as he gets into the bed, he has a hidden health bar. For every second that you're anywhere except for the world map, his HP is slowly going to decrease. Oh god, I got my sprint shoes back. We don't need to stay on the world map for long, just long enough that... Alright, so here we need to catch some fish for Sid. Now the slow fish actually decreases HP, so we need the fast moving fish. And equi I equipped the sprint shoes so that Celis could move more quickly. Basically we just need to try to save him. Alright, there's no good fish there. The only way to make new fish spawn is talk to Sid. Because you don't want to have to give him a bad fish, basically. Maybe going to the world map changes it, too? 
No, I think only talking to Sid. Hang in there, Sid. We'll try to save you if we can. It is not giving me anything here, so this is not helping our cause. Alright, that's better than nothing, I guess. Alright, that increased his HP a little bit since his dialogue changed. Yeah, definitely, whatever you do, don't give him the slow fish. Because the, the, they just decrease his HP, they don't increase it. Ooh, that's a fast fish. We want that one. Good. The fish that are the fastest and the hardest to catch are the ones that increase his HP the most. Now, it's definitely tedious, but I want to do it. Because we're trying to save people, not get them killed. Come here, you. Come on. Gotcha. So yeah, having sprint shoes can definitely make this part easier. I don't think we really want that one. We need something faster than that. Oh, no, those are slow movers. There's a fast one. Unfortunately, this really comes down to chance. Now I'll, I'll explain what this whole part is doing a little bit in a, a little bit later after it's done. There's basically not much point to it except for keeping a character alive. All right, I guess I can feed him that. It's not the slowest fish I've seen. It's better than nothing, I guess. That one's way too slow. We don't want that one. Come here, you little bastard. We got him. Now, it may not seem like we're getting anywhere at the moment, but trust me, slowly but surely we are. Oh, and if you make the mistake of getting a... Ooh, I feel a little better. We're getting somewhere. If you make the mistake of grabbing one of the slow-moving fish, you're unfortunately stuck with it, because the only way to get rid of it is to feed it. It's, a, it's considered a rare item, so you can only get rid of it by feeding it to Sid. It's not the slowest fish around, so I guess we can use that.
on, give me some more fast movers. Eh. Yeah, this probably isn't the most fun thing in the world. Oh, crap. I wanted the fast one. Oh, well, we got it. Do I still have a fish in my inventory? No. It looks like he ate both of them. So yeah, now he's saying thanks for all you've done for me, so I think we're getting close to finishing this. I think. Gotcha. Now, don't be fooled by that. He says, I fear I'm not going to be around much longer. Don't worry, he'll be fine. It's when he's, his dialogue starts going back down that you have to worry. Oh, we did it! We saved Sid! Yay! What's up? Celis, the project that kept me going over the past year is down below. Go have a look at it. Oh, it's a raft. So this is your project? Celis, you must leave this place. You have to find your friends. I know, but I'll bring them all back to meet you. That lock fellow too, no doubt. Alright then. Goodbye, Sid. We're off to find our friends. So basically this part can play out one of two ways. You can either save Sid like I did by feeding him the faster fish, then he gets better, he'll never die, and he pretty much just stays on the island forever. If you choose to, if you want him to die, you certainly can let him. You can basically just let his HP run out on his own, or you could just feed him slow, the really slow fish to kill him faster. What that, what that ends up doing is it makes Celis, once Sid dies, she basically loses her will to live and she jumps off the cliff to kill herself. But she ends up saved and washes back on the island and she ends up finding a note from Sid telling her about the raft anyway. So basically the outcome's the same, really. One way's a little bit faster, but one way also gets lets you keep Sid alive. So it's pretty much up to you. But yes, welcome to the world of ruin. Alright guys, so this is going to be my stopping point for today. So yeah, Sid, uh, not Sid, Kefka has definitely, for all intents and purposes, he's destroyed the world. And he's going to have to pay for his crimes. But before we can even think about doing that, we need to search for our friends. And that's exactly what we're going to do next time. So I'll see you then, guys.